Hello everybody. So today I have a video for adding LDAP integration with uh, vCenter 6.5. This is LDAP using Open LDAP. It's not Active Directory. So um, I might get around to doing an Active Directory video, but for this video it's Open LDAP. So there's some important things to note when you're integrating LDAP with uh, vCenter. There's a KB article over here from VMware where only certain schemas are supported in VMware. So if we come down here, we could see that uh, I'll have this linked as well as this RFC linked in this video and uh, some instructions as to what I'm about to go over. But basically, if you do not comply to the schema that they uh, have or that they require, uh, certain fields might not po populate through VMware. So Say, for example, uh, users must have an object class inet org person, and all groups must have a object class of group of unique names, and the membership should be unique member. So if we actually pull up my LDAP server here, I'll pull up a user. So you can see here, the user does have object class inet org person, but the group object class is POSIX group. So that means that for this instance of LDAP integration with vCenter, the groups will not be visible, but the users should be. So um, I have some experience with LDAP, like setting it up and modifying uh, groups, adding users, etc. But I've never actually attempted to modify a schema. So I might get around to trying that and if I do I'll do a video for it. But um, basically if you run into a similar issue where you cannot see a user or group it is likely due to the schema used uh, for your LDAP integration. So uh, that being said we should still be able to add users and I can still show you how to go about doing that. So you can navigate to the vSphere web client by entering HTTPS and the IP address or a fully qualified domain name of your vCenter and vSphere client. It should automatically go there if you put the IP, but if it doesn't, just put forward slash vSphere client. So we're going to log in with the administrator at vSphere.local account. Okay, so the first place we're going to want to go is uh, you can click on the home button up here and under administration, down under single sign-on, select configuration, click on the plus sign under identity sources, and we will be selecting open LDAP. name it whatever you want so I'm just going to do VCLDAP base the end for users um, for me it's OU people BC equals my domain and you should also get that information if you run LDAP search and specify your base DN. You can go up here. You can see for people, find a person here. All my users are under OU people. And for the groups, we know they're not going to work because of the schema, but you could copy the group. And for the domain name, you can put the domain alias would be whatever you want and for the username 
you have to specify the distinguished name of uh, the LDAP administrator account. So mine's in here somewhere. So just copy this and specify the password. And for the server, you'll want to put LDAP colon forward slash forward slash and then either the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of your LDAP server. And then colon and port 389 which is the default LDAP port. So if you have multiple servers you can put more than one. I only have the one so we'll click next. If there are any issues you'll get an alarm over here saying that it failed to add uh, the identity source. <clears throat> so now that we've done that we can go back to home, select hosts and clusters. The vCenter server should be here and then under the permissions tab, select the plus arrow. Um, as you can see, there's all these different types of roles um, for the administrator. If we're basically just going to grant full administrator control, select administrator, click add. And then from the drop down here, select the domain you've added. So. As predicted, the groups do not appear, but the users do. So we will add a user. Just check the name, make sure it comes up. Okay, so as you can see, user was added as an administrator. So now we'll try logging out and logging in with that user. Should be able to also use the alias specified. So the domain was kjl.local, but I'm going to try with just with kjl. And as you can see, we've logged in with my LDAP user. So again, um, you may be hitting some restrictions to the schema. Um, if I can figure out a way to do it and I have some time, I'll do a video on modifying LDAP schemas. Um, not even sure it's possible, but I'll look into it and give it a shot. And uh, But anyways, that's how you add LDAP with uh, vCenter 6.5. Hope this video was helpful for you, and thanks for watching.